Hey guys, I want to make this video uh, because the last few days I've been, and I'll just tell you guys straight off the bat, I fucked up. Um, I was doing the no fap and cold shower thing and I went out drinking and <laughs> I, I fucked up. So I realized how important it was to me and I know a lot of people have experience and maybe it doesn't work for them, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what works for me. Uh, with no jerking off, no porn, uh, taking cold showers, you know, and, and staying focused. And I realized that before I started drinking that other day, and I was like fucking up with warm showers, and I wasn't watching my diet because I also do the intermittent fasting. <clears throat> and I realized when I control my body, when I control my desires, and I stay away from like sugar and bullshit like that, um, it's not easy at first but then I feel a lot more powerful as the days go by. But the thing is, I don't realize it until I fuck up. And then I'm like, damn, I felt good when I was doing that. You know, and for me, it's not always about feeling superhuman. You know, what for me, it, I feel it when I, when I do fuck up. <coughs> and basically, when I'm, I have that ritual where I'm the, doing the fasting in the morning, you know, I'm doing my meditation, my self-improvement, I'm reading, I'm working out, my workouts are better when I'm not, you know, fucking jerking off. Even having too much sex with my girlfriend um, wears me out a lot. So I try not to, although I do love sex, but the cold showers really help me too. And that gives me a sense of a, a basic control over my body. I realize that my thoughts are better, I'm able to think more positively. I, I'm not so much of a little fucking bitch because I do I used to have like really bad anger problems and emotional issues where it's just like I couldn't control my emotions I had these fucked up thoughts all the time and it was like frustrating the shit out of me something didn't go right <coughs> I would fucking flip the fuck out and I realized when I started denying my body these pleasures of taking nice hot baths which are cool sometimes um, I especially only at nighttime if I'm gonna take a nice hot bath um, but like if I'm eating shit, like a few weeks ago, I ate like a fucking donut in the morning and I just didn't feel proud of myself. And that's the point of these, the no fat, the no jerking off, the no porn, cold showers, maybe you wanna stick to a strict diet, waking up early, those things give you a sense of accomplishment, you know? Making your fucking bed in the morning, those little things give you a sense of accomplishment. And if you can't control your body, and I'm gonna tell you this, I've made money in the past, I've lost it. It all becomes a fact that you can't control yourself, you can't control your money, you can't control anything. And it sucks. You feel a sense of powerlessness, you feel a sense of frustration with yourself, and the worst kind of hatred you could ever have in this world is self-hatred. And I was looking in the mirror, I, was, I hated myself, and I was just wondering why. It's because I was fucking weak as fuck. Yeah, here's a fucking guy who lifts weights. You know, he's all jacked and he's a little fucking bitch because he can't stop looking at porn. He can't control his emotions. He eats bullshit. He's drinking like a fucking moron, you know. And so I said I wanted to stop. So I'm in a few days in. I haven't drank for a little bit because I drank like it before and then I got sick and <clears throat> I'm getting over it now. And I realized that's some loser fucking shit. And that's why at 32, I'm not living the life I want to live because I have been so undisciplined in my life. There, I lack so much discipline. That's why when I started my business a few years ago with my friend and I, we made great money, I lost it all. Lost everything. And I'm always losing everything. And I'm always fucking up. Why? Because I lack discipline. Nothing matters, guys. Your intentions in life don't matter if you're not consistent. I can read fucking Think and Grow Rich 8,000 times. If you're not consistent, and thinking and growing rich, then you're not gonna be rich, okay? I was so inconsistent, I was so consistent with being inconsistent that has fucked my whole life up. And I'm making this video not to be like some guru towards you guys. I'm making this video so you don't make the same fucking mistake I did. Always thinking you wanna be rich, you wanna be this, you wanna be successful and powerful, you wanna be the next Tony Robbins, the next Grant Cardone. Listen guys, those guys have massive discipline. They weren't born like that. Those are small disciplines, you know, done every day until the point where then the money starts to flow <coughs> and
and the success starts to come. But it's true, guys. Once you become better, your whole life gets fucking better. Then you're not going to want to bullshit. You're not going to want to do dumb shit. You're not going to want to spend your money on stupid shit. You're not going to want to hang out with stupid people. So I would definitely say if you're struggling with anything in your any kind of addiction... It could be masturbation. It could be addiction to fucking candy. It could be addiction to drinking or drugs. Um, it's I'm going to tell you off the bat, it's going to fuck your life up. And deep down inside your subconscious mind, whenever you want to achieve something, it's going to tell you, you can't do it. You can't even stop that. What else, you think, Who the fuck do you think you are? So start telling your body today, I've had enough of this shit. You're going to be my little bitch from now on. You, my mind's not going to control me anymore. I'm going to control my mind. The negative thoughts want to come? That's cool. But you're going to get the fuck out immediately. Oh, I want, you know, you're fucking, you want to jerk off? Hit some push-ups. Jump into the cold shower. And think about this. Think about the fucking pain that you're going to feel whenever you do give in to your addiction. I only think about the pain of having that shitty feeling that I, I can't even have one drink now without feeling like this shit the next day. Some guys can, but I, it just doesn't work for me anymore. The whole thing of, oh, let me just jerk off this once. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> I, I can't fool myself because that kind you're feeding that part of your brain that's saying, oh, you can stay in bed a little longer. You don't have to work today. You can buy that fucking, those sneakers that you want. But no, guys, you have to stay disciplined. Because discipline is going to make you powerful. And power is going to give you that confidence. It's going to give you the confidence to do anything you want in life. Okay? That's why guys who say all the no fap and the cold shower thing and all that attracts women to them. It's because it, it, it gives them this confidence in themselves. It maybe it's not the super aura that they attract. It's just confidence. You know, guys who jerk off all the time and, and don't are not disciplined are weak. You can just see them. They're fucking weak, you know? And I see it myself, too, because I'll take pictures of myself from time to time, like how I look like when I'm bullshitting and how I look like when I'm not. And it's a different man I see, and it's a man I'm very proud of. And it doesn't matter how broke I am or how much I'm struggling. When I'm focused and I have control over my mind and my body, things start to change. Now I do fuck up because I'm still... I'm still trying to be disciplined. I'm just like everybody else. And I don't, I'm not going to make excuses. I fuck up because I get stupid. But by discipline, you stop being stupid. You read more. You exercise. You work out more. You know, you watch your diet. You watch the diet of both your body and your mind. And that's important, guys. Having a diet of your body and your mind and of your finances. Make sure you're doing what you got to do in life. And stay disciplined. And consistency, guys. It's just, even if you have to write a checklist every day, no jerking off, take a cold shower. Did I say my affirmations? Did I read 20 pages a day? Because if you don't stay focused on these things, those bad habits are going to creep up. <clears throat> and another thing I noticed is that no matter what kind of successful habits you want to develop, if you, don't, if you don't get rid of your bad habits, you're basically going into a garden full of weeds and planting good seeds of, I don't know, fucking roses. You have to get those weeds out because those weeds are going to fuck your life up. The reason why I'm 32 and I've read all the self-help books and I'm not anywhere near as successful as I want to be is because I let my bad habits stay where they were because I liked them. I kept them around like little fucking pets. To only find out these motherfuckers were disgusting rats eating away at my soul. You know, find out what your bad habits are and make it a goal to get rid of them. <clears throat> my bad habits were drinking, were drugs eating garbage, hanging out with people who don't even give a fuck about me. You know, people only hit me up on Friday nights. You know what I'm saying? So getting rid of those bad habits and replacing them with good habits. You know, if you like to eat snacks, switch your snacks with healthy things. You know, you like to drink soda, switch it with water. You know, little things like that. Stay disciplined. You know, stay away from jerking off. Stay away from porn. Take nice cold showers. If you want to start with the warm water and then cold, doesn't matter, guys. Because you're doing what most people don't. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, too, if you want to do the intermittent fasting, that works great for me. I'm going to make another video about that. So I just wanted to touch up on a few things today. Just to show you guys that once you discipline your body, your whole life is going to change. Believe me. Your confidence is going to change. You're going to feel good about yourself. 
and you don't have to worry about the weather if it's a nice day or not because you're always going to be ready to attack the world. And take it from me, guys, fucking up, don't do it. The best mess to clean up, the best way to clean a mess, like I say, is to not make one. So don't mess up your life. <clears throat> stay focused, stay disciplined, and stay powerful. Control yourself because if you can't do that, you can't control anything. Self-discipline is the best attribute you can have in your life. It's going to change you. And take it day by day. You fall, get right back up. Get disciplined in getting back up too. Because if you fuck up, don't be hard on yourself. Because other people aren't doing it, okay? Most people are living their life like they ever the fuck they want to. Don't, who gives a shit? You're trying. You got good intentions. Now go get them. <clears throat> go win at life, all right? And be the best you can be. Because you fucking deserve it. Just start today. Start small and start building. Until that, these little bricks you're laying down in your life become a fucking monument that the whole world is going to look at and say, wow, look at that. And it all started with today and those small little disciplines. Every day, like, so set up a, <clears throat> get a yellow legal pad and write down all the good attributes you want. And maybe all the bad ones that you want to get rid of. And every day, stay focused. Write your goals down every day. Because you got <clears throat> to stay focused every day. There's no day off in the, in, on the drain of success. You know, I don't care what anybody says. So I wish you guys the best of luck and thank you for watching. And I'm going to make more videos because maybe you don't have people in your life to help you out or to talk to you or to be positive. And so I want to be that person. And I want everybody in the comments below to share what they, what's helped them and to make videos and to put links to their videos. So we all help each other, guys. <clears throat> Life is too short to not be successful. Life is too great to be small. I wish you the best of luck, guys. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. <clears throat> Bye.